Erev Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yomim, Masechet Sukkah, we are up to Perek Dal Mishnah Bet. Today's Mishnah Yot should be Leilu Nishmat, Neria Ben Svetlana, Aran Bay, Vendeliao Ben Burcha Yisraelov, Menuchatam Began Eden, Amen, and Leavdi Ben Chaim Nechaim, for the Refua Shema, Bacha Bat Esther, and Daniel Shalom Ben Rosa, Betoch Shachulei Yisrael. This Mishnah explains the first ruling of the previous Mishnah, that the mitzvah of lulav is performed in the temple on either six or seven days. The Mishnah begins, lulav shiva ketzad. How is it possible for the mitzvah of lulav to apply either on six days of Sukkot or on seven days? Yom tov arishon shel chag shel b'shabbat lulav shiva. If the first yom tov of the festival, meaning the first day of Sukkot, falls on a Shabbat, the lulav is taken on all seven days. The rabbis prohibited performing the mitzvah of lulav on Shabbat, but they did not apply their decree on the first day of the festival. Now the rabbis were concerned that one might carry the four species through the streets to an expert to learn how to recite the blessing or how to wave them, which would violate the biblical prohibition of carrying in a public domain on Shabbat. For this reason, they prohibited one to perform the mitzvah of lulav on Shabbat, even in a situation where it is a biblical obligation. However, they did not want to prevent observance of the mitzvah on the first day of the festival. Since the Torah requires the mitzvah to be observed everywhere on the first day, even outside the temple, as we learned in chapter 3, Mishnah 12, performing the mitzvah on that day is considered more important than performing it on the other days. The rabbis therefore permitted the lulav to be taken on Shabbat, if it is the first day of Sukkot, and they prohibited only when one of the other days is Shabbat. Nowadays, however, taking the lulav is always forbidden on Shabbat, even when it is the first day of Sukkot. Uh, back to our Mishnah, therefore again, in a year when the first day is a Shabbat, the mitzvah of lulav is observed on all seven days of Sukkot, back in the times of the Bet HaMikdash. Usha kore hamim shisha, but if the first day falls on any other day of the week, the mitzvah applies on only six days, in this case where the first day is a regular day of the week, one of the last six days will be a Shabbat. The rabbis forbade taking the lulav on that Shabbat, leaving only six days for the mitzvah. And that is the end of Mishnah Bet. Mishnah Gimel continues, Arava Shiva Ketzad. How is it possible for the mitzvah of Arava to apply either on seven days or on six days? Yom Shri'i Shel Arava Shechal Yot B'Shabbat Arava Shiva. If the seventh day of the Arava ceremony, the seventh day of Sukkot, known as Hoshan Arava, falls on a Shabbat, the Arava ceremony is held on all seven days. The rabbis prohibited the mitzvah of Arava on Shabbat, but they did not apply their decree on the seventh day of the festival. Now, there is little reason to be afraid that the Arava ceremony will lead to the desecration of Shabbat because it is performed by the messengers of Sanhedrin and Kohanim in the temple who can be trusted not to sin. The rabbis, however, had a different concern. They were worried that if the Arava ceremony is always permitted on Shabbat, people might think that it is more important than the mitzvah of Lulav, which is forbidden on Shabbat, unless Shabbat is the first day of Sukkot. As a result, people might not treat the mitzvah of as seriously as they should. Therefore, to put the two mitzvot on the same level, the rabbis decree that just as the mitzvah of lulav is performed on Shabbat on only one day of Sukkot, the first, so is the mitzvah of Arava performed on Shabbat on only one day of Sukkot, the seventh. So again, if the seventh day of the Arava ceremony, the seventh day of Sukkot, on Hoshan Arava falls on a Shabbat, the Arava ceremony is held on all seven days. Therefore, in a year when the seventh day is a Shabbat, the mitzvah of Arava is observed on all seven days of Sukkot. Usha koremim shisha. But if the seventh day falls on any other day of the week, the ceremony is held on only six days. In this case, where the seventh day is a regular day of the week, one of the first days, six days will be a Shabbat. The rabbis prohibited the Arava ceremony on that Shabbat, leaving only six days for the mitzvah. And that is in Rabotayv today's Mishnah Yomi. Bauch Adonai Leolam, Amen va Amen.